Connaissez-vous le selfie déchet? Euh, je vais vous montrer le concept. Most people snap selfies on beaches, restaurants or in front of famous landmarks. But our observer in Guinea, Conakry, takes photos of herself in front of rubbish tips. She calls them waste selfies and she's been touring the capital looking for the worst places to take photos of herself. Here's why. Today we're on the Concasseur site, the only landfill where all the waste is centralized. It's another world. It's like being on another planet, the planet of waste. It's not just about taking photos. Waste selfies are part of an awareness campaign. When someone sees a photo, they'll start thinking about what they can do as a citizen. And the idea is to make the authorities more aware. Behind me, you can see a building. It's actually a school. Look at what's in front of the school. Fatimata seems to have started an online trend. People have begun sending her their own waste selfies. But Fatimata says what she really wants is for people to stop burning their rubbish in the streets. For example, in Kaloum, I witnessed waste being burnt right next to petrol tanks. What this means is that people are not informed. They don't know where or how to burn their waste. Taking a waste selfie could of course have an impact because if someone takes and publishes a waste selfie, it means they're aware they have the right to live in a clean environment. Recently, and since our campaign was launched, the governor of Conakry has launched an official campaign to clean market areas on Sundays. So that means we've had a real impact.